Well, here we go. Eight o'clock in the morning. Starting at the Shoal Falls Trailhead. We'll see how it goes. Rained like hell last night. Supposed to be good weather. Supposed to be. Snow up high. You can see it up there. Foggy clouds. We'll see what happens, gang. All right, guys, we're going to see how this works out on my chest strap so I don't have to hold it. So first part of the trail is through, you know, the low area and then it goes up through a bunch of switchbacks. <clears throat> it's all stuff that's been burned years ago. So kind of looks like this for a while. <clears throat> Have seen some deer tracks on the trail it rains so hard pretty much any track we see is going to be pretty fresh and then uh, just heard some sandhill cranes down behind me I think Trish and I heard them last year actually saw four of them on the road driving in here today so pretty cool anyway <clears throat> I'm not going to do a lot of talking if I don't have to spare you guys <clears throat> and I probably won't do a whole lot of filming through this area but this is you remember this is Shoal Creek here uh, I don't think it is Shoal Creek goes I can't remember the name of this I'd have to look on the map Shoal Creek's farther to our uh, east so, but here's the first look at a nice creek. Lots of rain last night, so everything's flowing. And as always, my pack is heavier than I want, but it is what it is. You gotta kind of take the same stuff, whether you're going for three nights or seven nights. So we'll stop this for a while till we get into something more interesting. All right, so yeah, this is Swift Creek. And this is the intersection that we're looking at, which hopefully you can see. Shoal Falls Trail off to the right, and it goes east. Swift Creek, a little to the west and north. My hope is to be coming back down Swift Creek Trail on my last day, so we shall see. And up we go for a long time. Over the sounds of my heavy breathing, today is a day of up. This is pretty mild right here. Lots of fog and mist in the air. Should burn off, blue sky a coming. And just so you know, my family, I love you. <clears throat> you guys are my soul. And I'll be thinking of you the whole time.
So it's going to be like this for a while. Some blow down in the trail too, just to make life fun. And I'll try and turn myself so you can get maybe a little bit of that ridge with the sun hitting it. A little bit of snow way up there still. It's a pretty morning. <clears throat> so got through a bunch of burn and and through a little live stuff. <clears throat> And a blessed flat part of the trail, which won't last. Today is pretty much going to be up, up, up. Nice to have a little flat.
So, I believe I'm about to come up to an opening, which all of a sudden I remembered, because hopefully the camera's catching this. Up there is a stump that kind of, from a distance, looks like a deer standing there. And I just remembered it because I saw it coming up. And when Trisha and I were here, my love, I miss you, coming the other way back from Shoal Falls, I saw it across this opening we're coming up to here. Same thing. I look like a deer from a distance. So, remembering you, baby, from when we were here. And if I am where I think I am, that means the worst of the switchbacks and stuff. Yeah, that's dump right there. Worst of the switchbacks should be over for a while. Anyway, and we'll break out into some a little more open stuff for a bit. I think we had lunch here on our way out, love. Right on that rock. I miss having you with me, my backpacking partner. Hopefully we'll have a good trip to the sawtooth soon. All right, we're starting to see some some peaks up here. Still got snow on them. Still some cloud cover, but the sun's coming out. Let's do a 360. So, yeah, been coming up and keep going up. Time to make a little noise when we can't see much through these aspens. Hey, hey! Wind is, I think, on my right side. Hey, hello, coming through, coming through. Hey, hey. Don't like not being able to see in here. And there'll be more places like that. Coming through, coming through. Come on, come on. Got through one little section I knew I'd have to go through, which is a dense clump of willows, which sucked for two reasons. Soaking wet from the rain last night, so I am now soaking wet. But I should dry out. And you can't see a thing through there, which is not good. But all's well. Keep on going. <laughs> lots of lots of blow down in here. Some pretty damn good storms up in here.
So hopefully the GoPro is picking up the mountain tops that are still covered in fog and actually a fair amount of snow. Fair amount. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see what happens. There we go. There's quite a bit of snow up there. <laughs> we'll see how much there is, whether this I can get up there or this turns into just a extended camping trip at Shoal Falls. We'll see. All right, something interesting. Right there. There probably from before the rain so that's hard to say for sure but I'm gonna say uh, most likely a wolf track hopefully this is picking it up amongst the deer tracks a couple of them there it's at least a day old they're in here too There's, yep right along the trail Didn't see any toenail marks in them, but it looked like they're since that rain or during the rain, so it could be obscured. It's probably not lion tracks in here, but got both. Red tail looks like taking off. There's a lot of snow up there. So I made it to a little spot where Trisha and I had stopped to get our bearings last time we didn't know where we were and uh actually been following those wolf tracks it looks like there's at least a couple they're probably not a day old <clears throat> and just uh, saw my first elk tracks which are old so we're uh actually coming into uh or gaining on Shoal Creek drainage here. That's uh, surprising. I think I'm doing all right on time. We got to go down across this little creek here, drink a bunch of water. I might get something to eat. I'm seeing some very old boot prints too. This is a popular, popular in terms relative to Grove Hunt trail. I think it gets a lot of hunting activity, which we'll be picking up here in a couple weeks. But right now, 
There's no fresh signs of humans. So, start working our way down here a little bit, which means we lose some of that beautiful elevation we gained. But we'll be uh, hitting a small creek, and it's going to be food and water time. Yep, those wolf tracks are still with me here. A little sun. Nice to dry out my lower half, which is soaked from the wet vegetation. <clears throat> Didn't want to bring my gators because I'm trying to save weight and I'm not sure they would have saved me completely from getting my boots soaked, but they might have helped a little. So, yeah, I wish I had them now. Yep, so we got to go down a hill here. And there's going to be a creek we crossed and Gradual back up for a while and into Shoal Creek drainage. Kind of nice to have the sun to dry things out, but I don't want it to get too warm either. It's in the like 44 or something when I left the trailhead. But this is warm work. Clouds are still hanging on to the west a little bit and up high. And then still lots of old burn. So, just cross that little creek, and have uh, another hour, I'm sure, to Shoal Falls area, and we start going up again here, so it's not horrendous, but it's a ways.
just after 10.30, so I'm pleased with my pace. And it's about 50 degrees, according to my little thermometer on my backpack. Probably can't see it. Wish I'd had the GoPro running. There's a, there he is. Mule deer little buck. Right up there. Right up there. He's behind the trees. And you might see movement. It might be too far for the GoPro, but I can see him right now. So a lot of mule deer tracks on this trail. So he'll probably run if we get another look at him. He's up in there. I think he's looking at me. Yeah, I see his ears in his left side. He's straight through. Straight through here over the stump. If you look just to the right of where the stump's sticking up there, you can see him moving. So, what's up, buddy? Sorry to bug you. Up we go. See if he gives us another look. All right, I see him. He might give us a look here. Sun's right in the GoPro's face. He's right there looking at us. Little guy, but very cool. Here he just decided he doesn't want anything to do with us. Well, maybe he does. All right, bud, have a good day. All right, so I wasn't so sure <laughs> GoPro status, but we're getting, getting there. Hopefully you can see that. That's where we've come from. Let's hope we get more of that blue sky. And then down the right side of that actually is in to where the, the falls are. And we've got to go up this way still a ways. So we are now getting our first look at the Shoal Creek drainage, which comes down from up there. So we gotta walk across this meadow, drop down a ways, and then kind of go to the left to get up to the campsite below the falls. We'll take a break and see what's what. There we are.
just so you know there's a very short scene at the very beginning of the movie Jeremiah Johnson that was filmed right below the falls and I was looking up in there and uh, pretty cool I didn't recognize it till we were here a couple of years ago and I looked and I looked again and then I looked at the movie and yeah they filmed it right up in there we'll see it when we get down to the campsite and you can probably see the trail going across this very very beautiful area and we go down a ways get to the creek are down where those craggly rocks are. I wish we didn't have to lose all this elevation to get back up above them. But we do. So you can see and hear the falls down there. And we're going to head down to, it's a big meadow with a beaver, old beaver pond at the bottom down here below it. And take a break. And uh, we'll see how we're doing. But right now I'm feeling like I've got the pep to keep going. But break water. That's Shoal Falls. And... Double top peak or something. I'll have to look at the map again there with the snow bands on it, which is how Trisha and I saw it last. I love you, babe. Trail is muddy and slippery. It's too much slipperier, the poles are going to come out. But... not to stop so yeah so the trail goes down through here and it winds around back in there I wish I could just go straight across but I got to drop down cross down by that area and then go up here we go
So, oh, there's mama. Mama grouse. Two babies right there I just flushed. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, honey, I don't want to hurt your kids. We're not grouse hunting today. That's a spruce grouse. Hi. Hopefully they can see you. Hi there. Thanks for sharing with me today. I'll move off. Take care, young lady. Take care, kiddos. Getting down to the, out down to the spot. And there is a look at Swift Creek, or no, sorry, Shoal Creek. And uh, we'll be crossing down there, but you can see this meadow coming up is a little beaver. Damn, I hope I can get across that. Shoot, you see. I think I got across it a couple times on the trail to get up high. So, wow, look at that water coming down. I am thinking of you, my love. Thinking of you and our beautiful children. So there's a little camp spot right over here to the left. But I'm gonna go to the right, find a place to sit and maybe dry my feet and have a snack and refill some water. The filter doesn't get washed away. trail crosses right down here somewhere right in here looks like it might be manageable I think that might be it right there we'll see time for a break
All right. Not sure if the GoPro is on, I hope. I apologize for my finger in front of the lens. So climbing up from Shoal Falls and this trail is as build difficult. So right now we're looking down into that beaver, old beaver pond. There's the scree slope that we were looking up. Those uh, evergreen trees down there on the other side, that's right where that other campsite is where we had some a break and lunch. So this has been fun. So, and more to come, but not doing too bad. Just gotta take it in a kind of a Go some distance, stop and rest. So we're gaining a lot of elevation again. And we're not done. I'll shut up for a minute, let you watch the scenery. Up above the level of the falls, I can hear them. And uh, looking at that face to the west, gaining a lot of altitude, doing okay. So not quite as high as when we crossed over the top of that guy, but uh, we'll get there. And as always in the Rockies, you gotta go down to go up and up to go down. Ashley and Jacob know what I mean. up into it. Looks like the snow is just about melted off.
is where you get to see me stop frequently. We're getting up high and it's steep. Hmm. You can hear the creek below us. I'm not sure if you can see it in the frame. There's a waterfall up there. Small one. So I have finally reached a flat spot on the trail, and man do I appreciate it. So I've come about nine miles, it's right about 3.30, I should have two, two and a half to the lake. I just passed it, or actually anywhere in this spot, there's water if I had to, and couldn't make it any farther. You could find Hi everybody. Uh, GoPro battery died earlier today before I got here um, and quite honestly I was so pooped I said the heck with it until I got here so we're gonna have a mix of camera and GoPro anyway got here at just a few minutes to five and uh, it was a tough tough day uh, 11 miles and a total elevation gain of 3,000 feet, roughly. That doesn't count all the up and down and up and down. That's just my net gain. So I got everything set up. I got dinner already. Had some tea. And I am going to brush my teeth, wash my face, and crawl into my little tent and lay there. And, uh... We'll see what tomorrow brings. The uh, the trail goes up and over that uh, that bowl there. I think to the left is a pass. I think. I don't, won't know till I get there. Plan was to go off trail tomorrow. We'll see. Not sure if I am feeling up to it after today because this was a butt kicker. Uh, but I'm glad I made it. So first night here, guys. Sun will be. Sun is behind the hills. It doesn't actually set around here late, so it'll be light for a little while. Just in the shadows, and in the morning I'll get some sun from the east. So, yeah, that's looking north. And there's the west, way up there. And so, there's the last of the sun hitting the hilltops. It'll be coming from that direction tomorrow. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Good night.